Un vestiaire de rêve, de divinité couture. Plissé, tressage, couleur poudrée, incrustation et plumes dans la grande tradition maison. Et puis, t-shirt blanc, tailleur strict et combat boots. À la tête des collections de haute couture et de prêt-à-porter de la maison Dior, elle dénonce le patriarcat dans la mode. We should all be feminists. Sisterhood is global. We are all clitoridian women. Et fait du féminisme le nouvel objet du désir avec un message fort. Et si les femmes dirigeaient le monde Maria Grazia Curie, sur mesure. Good morning, Maria Grazia Curie. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us here. I'm very happy to have you here. Is this your... Office. What, your office? This is my office. Normally it's uh, my office. I'm very lucky because I have a beautiful terrace too and a very quiet and beautiful view of the Paris. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you for coming. How do you feel in this strange period? Um, it was a moment very difficult in our life uh, because uh, in any case, uh, this uh, pandemic crisis uh, change uh, our personal life uh, and also our way to work. Um, in some way, I think that work helped me uh, to maintain uh, um, my mood uh, less depressed, because uh, like you can imagine, I made the lockdown in Italy where the impact of the crisis was very strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably in that moment to work at the Couture was a moment to escape of the reality and uh, with uh, this idea of a dreaming couture helped to me uh, to feel uh, less uh, depressed. Um, Dior's presenting a creative video for Haute Couture instead of a show this, this season for obvious reasons. Um, let's talk about this format. How did you approach a couture presentation without a show? This was in some way something very exciting because uh, um, I immediately believed that it was important to create uh, a new way to work in uh, haute couture. So, in my mind, I say, what, what, what like is possible to give the same motion that can give uh, um, to, to attend at the real show? Uh, immediately, for me, was evident that the film is a way that you can create a dream. And, and I saw the, the beautiful film of Matteo Garrone, The Talents of Talents, that is a, a filmmaker, Italian filmmaker, that is also a friend that I really love. And during the lockdown, I called him and I said, oh, I have this idea, we can do a film together about couture. Because Matteo, in some way, is a, a director that is very artisanal director. Mm. And so, like me, he worked at the film like I work at the couture show. It was amazing to work with him and to work also with the musician that is Paolo Bonvino, all in Rome <laughs> during lockdown to create uh, this project that I don't want to call them like a fashion show, but more like a, really a tale. What story does this film tell? Uh, the reference for me started from uh, this important reference of, uh, in the history of French, that is the Théâtre de la Mode. The idea was to create uh, a trunk uh, mm -hmm. that in some way represents uh, uh, our couture house, uh, Montaigne, that travel around the world with this clothes to promote the craftsmanship and the value of the or haute couture. We can see some of the the models of, uh, of the, the mini dresses, is that how you call them? How oh, I really want to call them in scale, because I don't want to call doll, because it's an idea to child. Yeah. The approach for me was a really an architectural approach, like Dior was in the past. So this is a real proportion in scale of the real dress. Um, and also the craftsmanship, uh, they refine everything uh, like a real dress, also the label, the button, they study each single uh, details uh, also for embroidery because 
We don't uh, want to create something that is not a real collection. This is a real collection. Also, wedding dress is the first time uh, because I never put the wedding dress it's in the show. One, right? Yes, but I would like also to make this traditional uh, uh, dress that uh, normally uh, interests a lot of women that approach uh, uh, our couture house. Which one is your favorite one? <gasps> oh, it's very difficult to, to define, but this is one of my favorite. I really love this big brown because uh, is uh, also this could be for a wedding dress, but um, as uh, this material that is uh, really a toile, super light, that remember me also the toile that we normally use for uh, to make the prototype. Um, I love to work with this kind of uh, craftsmanship and also the uh, drape on the corset and also to use this idea to to frame the textile. Um, so this is one of the, my favorite. I think the women that wear haute couture are going to want a miniature version, a scale version. Oh, I was so excited when I did the collection that I would like no, never finish to do it. But also <laughs> the atelier, because uh, we enjoy all together to realize this collection. Well, maybe you have to do it again. <laughs> Why not? It uh, might become a dual tradition. And I think that the give all has uh, a big hope for the future, that also with this limitation uh, to invent a new way to work, mm. uh, I think was uh, very helpful for all the team. Uh, you've been Dior's creative director since July 2016 and you are the first woman to hold this position. From the very beginning, you develop collaborations with feminist intellectuals and artists. What are, what are the com some of the components of this female gaze? I know it's something that means a lot to you. Mm, I believe that women are more inclusive. Uh, that's uh, the, the real difference uh, and uh, less obsessed with power. I think uh, personally that uh, they want more to share with other people, uh, uh, to have a dialogue with other people, uh, uh, and also a good capacity to listen other. I really believe in this collaboration. I want to thank you, the all that support me in this uh, process to create uh, not only a female gaze, but probably a female community mm. uh, to help uh, other um, talents uh, in a different category, um, photographer, to express themselves and to, uh, to help them uh, um, to realize uh, their project. I was super happy when I arrived in Dior to call all women photographer for my for Dior campaign because uh, I think uh, women has different uh, uh, approach. Mm. Uh, they consider women like a subject, not like an object. Uh, I think that the women has to start to see themselves between uh, with the day high. This dialogue helped me uh, to improve my culture, to know other point of view, people that come from uh, other background, because we are not to forget that my background is Italian, this company is French, but at the end we are a global war, a company, we are a global brand. I think that we are working all in the same direction. I'm mm. very happy that all the system want to change, but uh, in some way, not easy. There yeah. are a lot of stereotyped idea in our mind. We have to try to open our mind to understand more. And that is necessary also a good background and academic background. Because sometimes uh, I see that the intolerance comes from ignorance. Uh, and education is very important. So probably we have to open the new generation. I hope that uh, they access education can help to change the thing, because only in this way we can change the world, not only fashion. And fashion can have a message, it can be political. Yes, fashion is very popular. Fashion is pop, fashion uh, attracts a lot of uh, people, so I think it would be a good media. What about Paris? As an Italian living here and working obviously in one of the most prestigious French houses in the world, um, what's it like to be 
I love Paris, so interesting. It's like to discover a new city because uh, uh, I went in Paris very often before, but uh, it's not the same thing to live here. So uh, I'm a very curious person, so I would like to know everything about the French <laughs> culture, everything about uh, this city. Uh, the city is beautiful, there are a lot of exhibitions, that is very exciting. Now that they are closed, I'm so sad because I spend a lot of time to mm. visit all the exhibitions, it's so international. Mm. But at the same time, uh, I discover also uh, more my Italian background. Mm. <laughs> because when you, also that I'm very privileged, uh, in any case, uh, I change my style uh, of life. Uh, uh, in Paris, and so in some way you understand also uh, your rule, your... Uh, what makes you Italian? More, yes, yeah. how much I'm Italian. <laughs> I, I discovered that I was, that I'm so Italian more in Paris <laughs> than before, honestly. It's funny you say that, I have the same feeling. I live in London and I feel like when I'm in London I'm very French. <laughs> yes, it's strange, but when you go uh, in another country, uh, you discover more mm -hmm. about yourself, and uh, that helped me a lot. What's different between the Italians and the French then? Something that really stands out to you? The first thing that French are more formal, Italians are completely informal people, and more, probably because we are Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in any case, French is the north, that we are in the south. I mean, Rome are much more south, too. <laughs> so, uh, and the approach is completely different. Uh, but at the same time, I think that we can have a very fantastic dialogue. Uh, very true. And what about Parisian women? They are supposed to be very chic. I know Italian women are also, um, um, Italian women and men are <laughs> considered to be very chic as well. Do you get inspired on the streets? Oh yes, I look at everybody around the street. I, I remember much more uh, the look on the street that the people in the magazines <laughs> because I'm obsessed to look around all the people. Mm. I'm very fascinated. Also because you find like they personalize uh, in a different way also what I do. Is there anything in fashion that you don't like? It's a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> fashion is my passion. Uh, I really start to work in fashion because in my idea is an expression of a freedom. Mm. I started to work in fashion when I was very young, when I was only 22 years old. So at the time, fashion was not the same thing that it is now, that is a big industrial. And um, the company was more small, more familiar, and also the guys that worked, I remember me with my other colleague to work in fashion, was really uh, a way to, like a, a new startup. Mm -hmm. Something <laughs> completely unknown. Uh, this kind of energy, I think, uh, we have to maintain. Mm -hmm. We are not to forget that we are artisan, that we are dreaming, uh, a dreamer. And that's exactly what haute couture is. Yes, absolutely. Like but I, I want to maintain also in pret a -Port, in all the categories. Yeah. I want to be excited every day I come to the office and I want to realize something new with a creative way to, to discover a new craftsmanship. I think this is the beauty of fashion. That's a, such a beautiful message. Um, I think that um, with all our guests, we've asked them to show us an object, something that means something to them, something personal to do with the new collection. Oh, it's uh, so difficult, but I want to show this because I think it's just a little bit crazy. This intarsia between the different material in a double cashmere, and like it's inside is super clean, is a coat, uh, uh, and I really love that also this jacket that we can open, and everything is uh, super real, and also like the jacket uh, that is in double, I think that is evident uh, uh, the passion and the love of the atelier to realize uh, all these clothes I'm really happy that this project maintains uh, the dream, but at the same time uh, is uh, really for real women. It's incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>